Hi guys, how's it going? So I'm back in the back garden beds um, and I've got some lovely flowers to plant. So I want to add a bit of colour into the border. There's a couple of gaps or a few gaps in the borders which um, I just feel like they need a bit of pop of colour. So I went out to the garden centre and bought a few um, annuals. So yeah, I've got some of the main um, borders filled with a lot of perennials, um, shrubs, that kind of thing. Um, but I always sort of tend to add a few annuals dotted in and about as well, just to add that real pop of colour and that colour that lasts all season long as well. Because, you know, as you know, perennials, um, they'll bloom. You can chop them back again, they sort of lull for a bit and then they'll rebloom again. So you don't have that colour all season long. But the good thing about perennials is that they come back every year. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I do normally uh, sort of have a few little spots where I put in some annuals just to give that real pop of colour and that colour that lasts all season long. So I've placed them already and I'll just show you what I've got and where I've placed them. So this is the first plant. This is a coleus and oh my goodness, look at those leaves. <laughs> they are just incredible. They are absolutely beautiful. So you've got obviously the light uh, Lighter colour in the middle, darker, and then this sort of chartreuse round the other side. And that really adds a proper pop of colour. So last year I did have some colis as well. It was a much darker one and I wanted to get that one again, but I just couldn't find it anywhere. None of the garden centres seem to carry coleus. And the one that I normally go to, my local one, <clears throat> I asked him last time and he said, oh, I'll get some in. But he only sort of got these sort of brighter ones, but I still, I love it. And it's going to add a real pop of colour. And this is where it's going to go. So we've got, it's sort of the bottom of the garden. We've got the herb little garden there, boxwood hedge, and then just working our way up the border. Going all the way up on that side. And as you can see, there's another one just there. <laughs> so there's only a tiny little room there, but I thought, do you know what? We'll add another plant in, add another pop of colour. So again, this is exactly the same, beautiful coleus. There's not much information about it. It literally just says Plectranthus coleus group, and that is it. There was no tag in it. Um, and online, there's so many different coleus as well, so I don't know which exactly which variety that is. Um, but, you know, it's quite a common one that you can get in all garden centres, really, or a lot of garden centres. So those are those two. And then moving up the bed, Oh, I just wanted to point out, I just wanted to show you, look, I've got our David Austin Boscobel Rose just starting to bloom. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? So many petals as well. It is just beautiful. And there's tons and tons of buds on this rose bush as well. And I think the sort of pinky goes really really well with that chartreuse yellow from the uh, ladies mantle but yeah anyway coming back up so the lupins a lot of them I've chopped back because they were going to seed so there's a few left there um, but they'll rebloom and then I had a little gap here so we've got black lace elderberry verbena um, labelia which is sort of a dark pink magenta -y labelia and then some sweet alyssum and then there's also dinner plate dahlia which is going to come up um, which is sort of like a pinky peachy colour um, so I thought these verbena would look really really nice in this little gap so these ones did have a tag so this one is venturi pink bicolor and then how long? Yeah, so full sun, um, 20 to 25 centimetres, height 30 to 40 spacing, um, early flying variety with a compact habit for high impact colour. And they just look absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at those. You've got basically three colours in one there, sort of a darker pink, lighter pink and a white. And then obviously the centre as well is like just a little green. So these aren't fully bloomed out yet. Um, and obviously that'll get a lot bigger and a lot wider. But I thought they would look really pretty there. And then I'm sort of repeated. So what I try and do in our garden borders is sort of just repeat the same plant somewhere else as well. So there's a little bit of cohesion going. 
and again just wanted to show you so this is just starting to open this is the lady gardener david austin oh there's a little bit of a bite taken out there oh they all look like that i didn't notice that last year are they all going to be like that with a little dip coming out i did not notice that last year well there you go didn't know that <laughs> anyway so coming on around the border all the way around and then we've got this really skinny back border and i do want to widen this but as you can see we have this big ghastly trampoline <laughs> which the kids love but they don't want to get rid of it yet but i just um yeah i want to get rid of it so i can just widen that whole border out make loads more room for plants so as you can see here it's just such a skinny border we've got some bamboo um red hot pokers a couple there and then this is Russian sage, so that's going to be sort of purple bloom. And then I just thought I'd stick two more of the verbena in there, just for a bit of pop of colour. Um, so yeah, that's where they're going to go. And then coming on down, there's the olive tree doing well. And there's the little girlies. Hello. They've just had a bit of uh, watermelon peel. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, and then coming back down here. So again, this border, I just feel like it's lacking a bit. I mean, we have got a sort of purple salvia that's gonna come up and bloom, hopefully. You've got the two hydrangeas. That one's sort of greeny, then pinky. Uh, sorry, greeny, then white, and that one's white. Um, this is supposed to be a Veronica, a pink Veronica. Um, so we'll see how that does, but I don't know. I just think it's lacking a bit of color. So, what I thought I would do is put some begonias in here, some pink begonias. So I'm going to put them about there. Got three little begonia plants and then coming on down, that's where they are. So I'm going to put three more here. But look at these. They are just gorgeous. Let me see if I can pop one out. There you go. Let's pop that one out. Look at that. So the leaves, sort of greeny, browny, purpley, reddy kind of, yeah, more browny I'd say. And then the flowers, just this really, really light, beautiful pink. So I'm gonna put three here, just to kind of brighten up the area a little bit. And then as I said, three working my way up, up here as well. So that is all the plants. Um, so yeah, I think they're just gonna add a nice little pop of color into the flower beds. So I'm just gonna get them planted and then I'll just sort of show you what they look like once they're in the ground.
So I don't know if I mentioned, this is the begonia that I've planted. I don't think I mentioned the name. So it's Devil Bronze Leaf Pink. Um, so it likes sun to shade, so it can have sun or shade. And then it grows to about 20 centimetres high. So yeah, that's the begonia that I've just planted. So I'm just working backwards then. So from here we can see the begonias that have gone in. So again, they are going to flush out with lots of flowers there. I think they're going to be really pretty. And they're moving at the border. We've planted the other ones over there. So one, two, three. And again, that pink's going to time with some of the other pink colours in the border. And then coming up over to the top. These are the two verbenas in this section here. Again, just adding a bit of a colour to this section. As I said before, those are Russian sage, so they will be purple. So that will sort of go really nicely with a pink. And then coming over, I've got the other two there. And then coming down the border to the coleus. So that's where one ended up. I think looking at that as well, it's going to tie so nicely in with those roses. See that sort of pink? It's sort of that colour of pink, isn't it? That sort of warm pink. I think that's going to be really pretty. And then working our way down. The other one ended up here. So yeah. And I think that proper colour. So against the um, black lace elderberry and then that chartreuse outer leaf. I think that's going to be really pretty. All right guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope maybe it's inspired you to maybe just add a bit of colour into your borders, find a little pocket of space, doesn't matter how small, <laughs> if you've got a bit of space, pop something in there, that's my uh, methodology anyway, uh, as long as it kind of goes. <laughs> All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.